This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, today I'll talk, give you some more immigration news or another scandal, if you like, uh, where it's been found that the Home Office has failed to protect uh, trafficking victims. This is yet another failure for Priti Patel and her humane and People First Home Office, as the Immigration Inspector reveals that for all the Home Office work uh, that they've been doing, they've only managed five prosecutions in two years. So whilst uh, Pretty Patel is locking people up in what are little more than concentration camps where Covid runs riot, the Home Office are, according to the Inspector, not doing enough to combat the criminals that perpetrate, enable and exploit trafficking and slavery, and the opportunities to do so are being missed. Now, slavery is a shocking thing for the 21st century, but it happens. In fact, it's not really surprising, given the British Patel and the Secretary of State is hit by scandal after scandal, as this inspection took place in the first half of 2020, yet they didn't actually publish it until recently. Some people might think this is another deliberate attempt of the Home Office trying to cover up its failings. Um, I certainly have my suspicions. Um, while some people might say, well, at least there were five prosecutions, um, this is going to be shown as a massive failure when you look at the statistics, given that the Immigration Inspector found that over 5,000 modern slavery offences were recorded by police in 2018 and 19 alone. So that's 5,000 in one year, uh, where they managed five prosecutions in two years. Not good. This seems to highlight where the government's priorities lie pandering to the right wing while ignoring the most vulnerable people, those that are trafficked, prostitu prostitution or forced labour, basically slaves that are bought or sold. The only bright light on the horizon, and it's worth mentioning, is it appears that the people that are working on the front line at the national referral mechanism seem to be getting better at identifying uh, and referring potential victims. Unfortunately, while these frontline staff are to be commended, there is a clear lack of leadership, no surprise there, uh, and it is said that the border force, um, love the word border force, sounds good doesn't it, are victim focused which is good, but I don't think they know what to do with the intelligence around that victim, so they can identify the victim but then they're lost. However, before Pretty Patel can pat herself on the back and uh, the report makes mention of, surprisingly, numerous points of failure in terms of both capacity and competence, something that a lot of people would uh, probably share that the Home Office are incompetent. So, no surprise there then. It seems that the Secretary of State, shamed after the Windrush scandal, seems more intent uh, rather on delivering on the promises uh, to appearing tough uh, on the vulnerable, while rather than dealing with the most uh, the worst form of abuse, which is that of slavery, i.e. the buying and selling of people in 2021. The report makes a number of recommendations, the main one being that they need to get a strategic grip on the situation, uh, which translates as that they need to get a structure that works as a whole, not where different parts of the department do their own thing. Um, indeed, the inspector stated it, it would be more encouraging to see uh, reference to some specific actions and deadlines. Um, no surprise that we don't see any of that because that's not where the government seems to be focused. Um, I agree with what the inspector says and I draw this to people's attention because modern day slavery exists and it is an evil. Um, but let's hope that the, 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 the headlines in future from the Secretary of State are, are not more ca camps that are unfit for human habitation, but are actually more work and more resources uh, diverted into protecting people from becoming slaves in the United Kingdom uh, in the 21st century. Um, uh, this is disturbing news. It's a disturbing video. The figures are even more disturbing. Um, uh, I, I hope that this has been informative rather than enjoyable. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, once again, thank you for watching. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.